here we have an Asus laptop that came in for a damaged battery connector. Every single day, users attempt to replace batteries on their Asus laptop and they end up breaking the battery connector. Right now, we do have the ground pads. We are missing the positive pads and we are missing clock and data. How are we going to do this? The good news is we have donor boards. We're going to extract the battery connector off this donor board and we're going to somehow solder it back on the customer's board. What's the best way to solder a connector onto the customer's board with missing pads? I have a couple of options in mind and we'll decide which way to go after we remove this piece here. Let's get rid of this piece. Right now, as you can see, we have the missing supporting pads on the left and right. This one and this one. Both of them are missing. But that's not a problem because once we solder the connector, all we have to do is connect the battery onto it and that battery is not going to move in the future. We close the laptop and the job is done. And now we're going to grab the donor board and see what we have right here. So in order to safely remove this connector, we're going to heat up from the bottom, from bottom of the board. We do not want to risk melting that connector because if we do burn it, then we have to look for another ACES donor board to get that connector from. All right, so let's do it. I'm applying heat from bottom of the board and to help with the flow of solder, we're going to apply some flux. And are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Yes. Let's put that connector on the side. And we're gonna take a look at the customer's board again. And we have to figure out what's the best way to solder that connector on the board because every scenario is different. Should we run wires? Or should we possibly move that connector up a bit so we can solder it here and here rather than down here and missing pads here? And then we can run wires from here to the pin on the connector and from here to the pin on the connector, right here and right here. What is this guy talking about? That's our connector and the connector has to go the opposite way, like this. What if we raise the connector up a bit, like this? Maybe we can do it like this. And the reason for that is we can grind and scratch the pad here to expose the copper, and we can use the copper here to connect to all three pins, and then we can use the copper on the top here to connect to the other three pins. And then we can simply run wires from here to here and from here to here. Capish? Okay, so we can do this. And now the grinding pan to the rescue. Okay, and I think that's good enough. And we have to do the same thing here.
the grinding pan is amazing. I've been using it on one charge since two weeks ago. I have not charged that grinding pan yet. And look at the finish. Look at how nicely we expose the copper. Now what I want to do before we solder the connector is we can pre-solder the wires onto the connector because once the connector is on the board, it's going to be difficult to solder the wires. You see the pins are slightly hidden. It's going to be hard to solder a wire here and a wire here. So we're going to flip that connector and we're going to pre-solder the wires. And those wires are going to go here and here. And I forgot to grind those two pads. done very precise and very efficient beautiful let's flip that connector and we're gonna grab a pad strip let's grab this one here For our data and clock lines, this pad strip is perfect. And why not just remove our CMOS battery disconnected? Just take it out of the way. And we're going to solder it right over here. Very nice. And let's grab another pad strip. We're going to grab this one. And where did it go? Where did it go? Magically disappeared. It just left one way express to the ninth dimension. All right. The pad strip, want to play games. And we're going to solder it right over here. Perfect. Now we're going to flip the connector. And what I'm going to do is pre-apply solder here. And we're going to pre-apply solder here. And then we're going to reflow that connector down. We're going to reflow it by applying heat from our soldering iron. And we're going to press down on the connector. I think we picked a very good plan for this scenario. And it's going to come out perfect. And just like that. Very nice. And now we're going to apply heat. Just like that. See, it already made a connection. Very nice. Let's use a bigger tip. And just go like this. Right now, I do not think that last ground pin is making a connection. Meter in continuity mode, and we're gonna check from here to here. And this last pin is not making a connection here. This one is, this one is, but this one is not making a connection. So we can simply run a wire from here to here. So we have all three pins connected to ground. It's not gonna be a big deal because the ground pad is too thick and we have a lot of solder here so it doesn't really matter if this one makes a connection or not
Uh, right now I'm using the shears that we recently got. You can find it on our site. And look at how precise this clipper is. All right. We got a lot of new products in and we have a lot more coming in this week. Look at the latest multimeter probes that we got. Look at how fine those are. The probes look something like this and the quality of the cable and the way they feel, they have some weight to them and how the needles are so fine and these are screw needles so we can change them in the future. You can find them on our site, just log in to northridgefix.com, click on shop. If you did buy those probes, leave it down in the comments and let others know how you like them. I love them. So now all three pins are making a connection with the ground. Very nice. And what about positive? We're good. Very nice. All we have to do is solder data and clock and we should be all good. Beautiful. We did an amazing job and this connector is solid. This connector is not going anywhere. We do not even need to add any glue onto the sides because this connector is solid. We're gonna press the battery connector onto it and that's it. We're gonna close the cover and that connector is not going anywhere. I mean, look at this. Let's add solder mask. We have the battery connected. What I want to do is probably add some hot glue on the left here and on the right side to secure that battery connector down in place. Usually the battery connector comes with a bracket and I do have one. The bracket looks something like this where it goes on top and it holds that battery connector down so it does not pull off. That's how this connector breaks because customers do not slide out the bracket and they try to pull on the battery connector and they end up breaking this connector that's soldered onto the board. The problem right now is if we try to put this in, to fit it in, to go over the battery, this bracket may touch and short out, plus and minus, because this one is conductive. So we're not gonna use it. Let's add hot glue to the left and right side of the battery connector. We're gonna add some right here. And we're gonna add some right here. And that's hot glue, it doesn't have to look perfect. But the nice thing about it is it's easy to remove. It's easy to remove. It all comes off as one piece. So it's not crazy glue, and it's not some glue that will stick on the board and is permanent. Done. The connector is making an excellent connection from all pins. Positive, ground, data, and clock. And all we have to do is turn it on. I do not know if the battery has any charge in it. And it's 7 p.m. right now. We close at 6. So it's really time to go home. I hope we have... And the battery is not charged. So we're going to have to charge the battery tomorrow. We'll test it before we send it back to the customer. But regardless, that's 
how we solder a battery connector. That's it. The job is done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video. <laughs>